Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our Link's Awakening Let's Play. Last episode we tackled another dungeon, I believe it was called the Key Cavern or something similar. Getting another uh, dungeon item, a very, very fun one, that being the Pegasus Boots. These open a lot for us in the overworld as well as make it a little bit easier to get around nice and fast, which I'm sure we'll, we'll find very useful as we explore all over Koholint trying to get everything that the, the incredible island has to offer. Our first main objective for today is actually going to pick up another piece of heart. We have quite a few hearts at this point, but, you know, the more the merrier. It's better to be able to take more hits than uh, if we were not able to. I believe it's right up. Uh, I think it's the right over here. It's in one of these little caves. If you remember where we uh, traded the little uh, stick, we gave it to uh, Terran, and he was able to knock down that beehive. Get the honeycomb. Uh, it's, I believe, around here. Maybe? Maybe it's over here? It's over here. <laughs> I knew it was like a little bombable wall. Um, walked right past it. Um, if you did not do that yet, if you did not get the honeycomb, it should be right over here in your inventory. You need to do this uh, very soon to be able to progress in the story. Uh, once again, you had at some point to get the stick to be able to get up to this point, because then you had to give it to the monkeys, and they would uh, build a little bridge while we were trying to get into the castle. But if you still have the stick and you need the honeycomb, make sure to go through with giving that to Terran. Go, okay, let's jump over that. I found out these enemies are called Sparks, by the way. In case you were wondering, just ran into them twice. These are little Pegasus boots dashed in those little balloon blocks. Hopefully not get hit by you. There's a little cracked wall up there that you guys can see. We'll, we'll come back to that in just a second. Let's grab this treasure chest first. Get a little bit of, uh, I think, rupees. Yeah, very nice. <clears throat> 50 of them, I'll take that. Re-equip our bombs. We're running low on these. Might want to stock up on them next time we're in the, the main town. Mabe Village. There we go. And, yep, perfect. He's hard. Let's grab that. <clears throat> That's our first of four, so it's a while away from when we need, or when we're going to get another heart container. But, you know, might as well grab it now. Um, next, speaking of my Village, we're actually heading right back there, uh, which is very, very useful, actually, seeing as, uh, let's not get it by that. Um, seeing as we're almost out of bombs, so it'll, it'll be worth it to stock up on a few there. Can dash through these, jump over that little spark. We are right next to my Village, too, so it's not that big of a detour or anything, so... Um, another good thing to note with your Pegasus boots, let's have this guy lunge at us. Um, these little trees with the apples in them, you can actually dash into and get a little apple. Picked up an apple, delicious and good for some hearts. You won't be able to see what it does here, but Link will actually eat them, and then that'll give us some extra hearts. You know what, actually, we're going to do real quick, before we head to Mabe Village, I've been kind of putting this off for a while. We're going to head to the seashell, seashell Mansion and drop off a few of our seashells. Uh, there's a, an item here that I completely missed grabbing. Um, that's actually very, very useful. Um, so let's see if we can grab that. I think we have enough seashells, so... How many do we have? 20? That should be enough, I think. So let's head in here and grab it. Uh, I definitely recommend doing this if you're trying to 100% the game. This item is going to be very useful for that. There we go. Well, on our way to the next step, too. Perfect. And I'll pop this bad boy open. You got the seashell sensor. This will let you know when there's a seashell close by. Again, that's going to be very useful for the rest of the game. We're going to be basically non-stop using this. Um, for the most part, I know where all the seashells are. This will be a good reminder in case I'm starting to forget. Um, so let's take out all those guys. We don't really need that. Um, but it'll it's similar to the compass when we're in a dungeon that lights up when there's a key nearby. It'll show up on the right of the screen and make a little pinging noise when we're near a seashell. That's our sign to kind of start fidgeting around with the world. Let's see if we can grab ourselves a seashell. I'm also going to point out right over here. Another type of apple on the tree. We'll knock it down and grab it real quick. The red apples, we, we've seen before, but these ones. Picked up a green apple. These are the best kind for recovering hearts. I don't know the exact numbers of how many hearts they recover, but obviously the green apples do recover more. Um, so if you're ever low on hearts and you see an apple tree or two, feel free to knock them down. They'll regrow next time you refresh the area, so it's not a big deal or anything. Um, now we're going to head up this way. and I kind of pointed out this area a while ago, but we never actually went into this building here. Now we finally are. Our Pegasus boots allow us to do something that we wouldn't have been able to otherwise. So step on into the Dream Shrine. Take a little nap. It's like a dream on Koholint. Um, right. Okay. Let's dash up here. These guys uh, do a ridiculous amount of damage. I'll, I'll demonstrate real quick. 
<laughs> three hearts is kind of insane. So Pegasus boots are definitely your best bet here. Uh, you also kind of need the Pegasus boots or you'd fall through the little gaps there. Be a little careful. We're actually going to grab these hearts real quick. Um, so be very, very careful in this area if you don't have the Pegasus boots. Um, you could come in here without them, but then you wouldn't be able to get the thing we're here for. First, we're going to grab this treasure chest, though, just because while we're here. 100 rupees, I'll take that for sure. Getting close to being able to buy that bow. It's Unfortunately, we're about to go spend a little bit, but it's all right. And then here we are. You got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. I'm sure we will. That's actually going to be a very useful key item. Uh, we need to progress, I believe, as well as uh, do a, f a few fun little side quests in our very near future. So make sure to pick that up if you're trying to get everything done. And we're actually going to do our first thing with it right down to the south in Mabe Village. Literally right below us. I kind of want that rupee. There we go. Right over here. Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yeah, I'd say it does. <clears throat> and you've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Now that we have that, we're going to head into the shop real quick. We're probably going to buy a few bombs since we're starting to run low. Here we go. Luckily, only 10 rupees. Yep, sounds good. And then we'll also probably head to the trendy game and see if they've got anything for us. I think they should have something very interesting for us very soon, other than the figures that we're obviously coming here for. Let's stop on in. And, okay, there's one of the figures. Unfortunately, it's on one of the back moving things, so it's going to be a little bit annoying to grab, but we should be fine. We've kind of mastered it. You know what? Here, that's perfect. Oh, I think I'm going to go too slow. Yeah, way too slow. Not even close. That's all right. It's only 10 rupees. It's a little annoying because we're trying to save up for the bow. Um, but realistically, 10 rupees in the grand scheme of all that is not a whole lot. Well, I guess we're going to have to spend a bit more. So maybe not quite 10. Go up this way. Then once it starts going back, we'll kind of... Like he stops like right here. That's spot on where he stops. Uh, No, I'm too early. Nope. Oh, that's perfect. That was perfect. There we go. Got the little boo figure. Perfect. We'll grab him, leave, and come back in. And I think we'll have something new to be able to grab from this guy. First. You got a boo figure. A spooky ghost go. This one's pretty cute. Let's leave and step right back in. And we should see a new item, I believe. Yep, heart container. Yeah. Definitely we will grab that. It will be halfway uh, to a new heart. Okay, let's see the same strat as last time, which is kind of just stop it right here. Hopefully, it'll time exactly the same as the boo. No. Okay. I guess because the boo was more round, it was able to kind of like push it in. And that's in a very like precarious position, the way it's leaned over its side of that. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen over. We'll play again. Okay, then we'll go a little later than we did last time. That's what our strategy will be. Like, once it starts to move, or is it stopping? Okay, like, same place. So now I think it'd be good. Perfect. Uh. Nice. Okay. That was a little close. It started to move again, but we got it. Assuming it doesn't fall out, at least. But I think we're clear on. There we go. Perfect. Nope, we're all right. And then... Let's grab that little heart piece. <clears throat> Spent a lot of time in this building. Now we're halfway to our next heart, which is very, very nice. We'll leave, and then I think I'll put that boo figure down. Which should be, I think, up in the north of the, the area. 
Wow, we got pretty far with our little Pegasus boots there. You'll notice me using them for traversal a lot uh, more frequently. Uh, now that we have them, obviously. Um, but realistically, you don't really need to. So if you're, you're having trouble keeping up, uh, don't stress about it. You can go nice and slow and still get to where I'm trying to get to. Most of the time, if I'm using the Pegasus boots, you won't really need to. Just kind of kind of nice way to get around. Um, next, we're actually going for a, a little bit of a... Uh, what's it called? A, uh, a detour across Koholint. Uh, we haven't been over to the, the right side of the island. Uh, and basically, really at all. We've kind of stayed over to the left near Mabe Village. But today, we're changing that. Let's hop on our little uh, pedestal. We're going to head to the Seashell Mansion. I guess I could have... Um, What's it called? Saved the Seashell Mansion, like, detour for a bit later, but that's alright. It's not like it took too long. Jump up here so we don't have to fight the Moblins. Very nice. Take you out real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh, five rupees. I'll take that. Deal with these guys just so we don't have to worry about them. Oh, and a Guardian Acorn. I'll take that. We're gonna head south, I believe. Deal with you real fast. Um, is it... Uh, I think I'm going too far south, actually. I think it's over to the right now. Yes, it totally is. Oop, can't go that way. <laughs> so just a little bit south of the Seashell Mansion. And then heading to the right over here. It won't let me around. Good try. You're going to want to slash this lone bush. And there we go. A nice little cave that we're going to stop right into. Okay, got some fish. You can see those little balloon things over there. That's why we weren't able to get here without the Pegasus boots. But now we can. I also just saw that heart piece below the water. Fortunately, I don't think we can get that yet. But we will be able to moderately soon. So if you're looking for that heart piece, keep that in mind. But now we can head over into this little town right here. The Animal Village. As you can see, by this little bunny here and the music. This village is occupied solely by uh, animals. It's a little interesting. You know, I don't know how their their whole, like, economy and, like, everything works, but you know, if it works, it works. We can also get a nice little warp point right here. We're not going to hop on it quite yet, but we definitely should be using that um, very soon. So let's head up this way. Um, we're trying to find a nice little way out. Oh, but hold on. I'm totally forgetting something. First, you want to stop in this town right here. This is where you need the honeycomb. If you don't have the honeycomb, I definitely recommend going back a few episodes and trying to check out where we get that. Uh, you trade it with Tarin for, you give him the little stick and you get the honeycomb, but you're going to need it right here for this bear guy. Hey. Chef Bear. Hi ho, hey you, is it? Is that possibly a honeycomb you have? I just ran out. Will you swap it for a pineapple? I mean, we're not really doing with anything with it. There we go. You exchange a honeycomb for a pineapple. It's not as sweet, but it is delicious. Hey. Hi ho. Yeah, I know, that tub of goo is asleep right in the way to Yarna Desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her singing. That slob would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing for sure. Okay, interesting. Um, now we're going to head out of the village to the south right over here. Get a little eye on that walrus he was talking about. Um, but that's not really why we're going over here. Just a, a nice little side side step. There it is, that walrus. Looks like our seashell center is going off too. He's got one thing on the mind. Let's head up this way though. And if you were a keen-eyed viewer, you could have seen what I'm probably heading to up here. Not that little cave, although we'll come back for that in a sec. I was talking about this piece of heart. Perfect. Now we're three quarters of the way to a, another heart. We're making good progress on that this episode. We just bought a few more bombs so we can very easily bomb this little wall right here. Let's see what's inside. Stop on in. And... Okay. Um, We can push that down. We'll go up this way. Can't do anything there. Looks like I'm not going to be able to do anything with this beetle, either. Pretty sure this is one of the things we're going to have to kind of come back to, but might as well check. Blow up that wall. I just got a little too close there. Yeah, let's adjust these keys in this long hallway. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to come back here. We can't do anything here quite yet. Just thought I'd stop it and check, though. Let's get our shovel equipped, just so we don't accidentally use any bombs. And walk into the void. That part isn't required. Uh, push this block to the right. Step on out. Now, we're going to head back south, go to that little warp point, and let's go grab Marin and see what we can do about uh, waking up that little... You know what? Grab an apple. See what we can do about waking up that walrus. So, head up this way. And back to the right so we can get to the warp panel. 
Here we are. Walk a little slow through the water, but that's alright. And we can head right back to Mabe Village. Or at least the prairie right next to it, so. Again, we're looking for Marin so that we can wake up that, that walrus and get past him. Um, unfortunately, he is kind of blocking the way right now. But uh, if we can bring over Marin Singh, I'm sure he'll perk right up, as all the, uh, the little animal villagers said. And lucky for us, we know where Marin is. Exactly, she's always chilling right over by this windmill. Where she's not currently. Let's talk to this little guy and see if he knows where she is. Huh? Marin's not with you? What happened to her? I mean... Uh... Luckily for us, I know. <laughs> I know exactly where Marin is. Um, did one of these kids tell you? I feel like one of them might. Nope, they're just talking about the egg. Okay. Well, as I was saying, you're just going to want to head back to kind of where... Thank you, Octorok. Where you got your sword, kind of. It's like around there. It's not exactly there. Um, so we can actually go this way and get there a little faster. Okay. Let's heal with that Octorok real quick. And head to the right more. Slash at that. Why not? Uh, can we go this way? Oh, seashell. That's right. I completely forgot there's a seashell right here. We can burn into that tree and grab a nice little seashell. Perfect. And that's why we got the seashell detector. Because even though I know where they all are, every now and then one slips my mind. So, uh, make sure to grab that wire over here. Maybe we can't. Maybe I had to go back up this way. This little beach area is weirdly confusing for just a simple beach where there's not even really many uh, main objectives. Yeah, there we go. Get with these urchins out of the way. How big of a big of a problem they were to us when we first were starting our adventure without our sword. This is a bomb bowl wall. Might as well throw a little bomb on that and see what's in there. Stop on in. Try I hadn't seen this before. <laughs> that's right. There's nothing in there yet. <laughs> or at least nothing we could do there yet. That's that's why I hadn't done anything there yet. Um let's head up to the right this way. There's that monkey that's going to throw the coconuts at us. But if we step down here... And again, uh, there's a seashell in that bottom left corner right over here. We've already gotten it, but if you haven't, uh, make sure to dig in this little spot right here. But let's talk to Marin and see what's going on. Oh, Link, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk with me for a while? Sure. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Tarn says there's nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought, this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I'd fly as far as I could. I fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? Yeah, we're listening. I want to know everything about you. Or, uh... Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? Well, all right, let's go. And just like that, <laughs> you got Marin. Is this your big chance? Uh, before we head back to the walrus, there's a few little, like, side things I want to do uh, with Marin. There's a, a few fun little... Honestly, they're not even required. They're just fun little Easter eggs. Unless the music changes, which I think is kind of nice. Very... Seems more upbeat. <laughs> Noticeably, Marin can keep up with our Pegasus boots, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, that was slick. We can go all the way over here. Looks like we've got our seashell detector going off. I believe it's this tree. Nope. Is it this one? I think it is. No, it's not. That tree. <laughs> it's that one. There we go. Let's grab that. And I think we're all good. I think that's the seashell we were looking for. Right, excuse me. Yep, we're going to want to bring her out to this little outcropping over here. You get a cute little cutscene. This is my first walk with you, Link. This cliff will be our secret place. Aren't you going to say anything? Not really our style. Hmm. 
<laughs> a little awkward. Um, but our last stop before we head up to the Walrus is going to be back in Mabe Village. Luckily, she can keep up with us quite well when we, we don our Pegasus boots. Slay these Octoroks. Try to show off our little buddy. Head on up here. Go get these bushes out of the way. And right over here. It's going to be at the trendy game. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry, Hen. Sorry, Marin. She scolded me for that. And over here to the trendy game. We are going to have to lose a few rupees for this, but trust me, it is worth it. You're going to want to do this. Wow, Link, can I try this? Yeah, go ahead. We got 10 rupees to spare. <clears throat> Seems like she knows what she's doing with this. I don't even think we can get it to leave the, the main area there. <laughs> You're good. You're a pro, aren't you? I'll beat it. Pros aren't allowed in here. <laughs> just like that, we get kicked out of the trending game. Luckily, we'll be able to come back just fine later, but I thought I'd show that off. With that being said, though, this episode is starting to run a bit long. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We were able to go pick up Marin and get started on our next big quest to wake up that walrus. So the, a nice little stop on the way to waking up the windfish. It feels like a nice little middle ground there. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to go wake up that walrus and see what we can do uh, right behind it since it's blocking a little path. Again, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.